Hello and welcome to the debut of our Wild Fashion Box subscription boxes from the Virtual Doll Convention. We have been working for months, weeks, days, hours, minutes leading up to this moment and we are so very excited to have you here with us. So what is going to happen in this video is we are going to show you our outfit of the month and take a deep dive into the fashion and the add-ons for the month and also give you a look at some of our bonus boxes that are happening for this month because it is our debut of our subscription boxes and we are so very excited. So we are going all out with the boxes, with the fashions, with the mix and match, it's crazy, so come on in, pull up a chair, get a snack, because this is a big one. Our wild fashion boxes are so much fun. We have different things that are going to be incorporated into them every month, but the first thing we're gonna talk about is our fashion. It is called Sweet Scoops. Come on in and we are going to show it to you. So the Sweet Scoops romper set is on our two girls right here. In your box, you are going to receive a surprise color. We have a beautiful green variation and a beautiful pink variation. And they are for going on the boardwalk, for hanging out, for getting ice cream or having a picnic. And what I love about these sets is they come with this beautiful, of course, and we're gonna learn how to style them and everything from Christopher. They come with a beautiful terry cloth towel for picnicking and for hanging out on the beach and a beautiful bow that is perfectly coordinated with the outfit. We had these made at our factory in the exact size that we wanted and they are wonderful. So these outfits came from a 1958 simplicity pattern. We sent photos of the pattern and they and our factory made these outfits and they are so cute. This romper is, is beautifully made and it comes with a skirt that is removable. So Christopher is going to show us how to style it, but the tailoring and everything is just absolutely gorgeous. It is awesome. When I received the samples on these, I was so excited. I almost bothered Christopher on the weekend because I wanted him to see these when I was unwrapping them in my kitchen. And I am so just over the moon to be offering these. So your uh, box comes with all kinds of uh, fun additional things, but you get your outfit, you get your bow, and you get your beautiful, beautiful, beautiful towel. All of your boxes come with, we have special tissue paper, we have special boxes. One of the things that I am so excited about with our outfit of the month is every month you are going to receive a wild style watch newsletter by virtual doll convention it is oh we better we're going to change that to uh so, oh well we're, we'll just leave it but it was going to be this is coming out in september but this was printed and written in august and that's okay and it is volume one so this is our outfit of the month our sweet scoops of beach side set and here it says, introducing the sweet scoops of beachside set for the one and only Ella Wynn Wild and Nima and her friends. The first outfit edition of the Wild Fashion subscription. In this delightful dress up set, Ella Wynn can unleash her inner fashionista for a beachside sweet treat with a fitted romper as the base and a perfect blend of comfort and style. But wait, there's more. The removable skirt adorned with dainty bows down the front adds a touch of whimsy and grace, transforming her look into a truly elegant dress in a snap. And here's the inspiration. This charming beach ensemble from 1958. These are actual ads from 1958. And that's what we sent plus the simplicity pattern cover. And we have two fabulous shades, so you're going to receive a surprise, and I just love it. Diana Vining, our wonderful in-house uh, art director, did this. This is beautiful. It takes a lot of time. You are going to receive this in your box. And then the back of our newsletter has Christopher's Mix and Match Secrets featuring Elowen and Nima, where Christopher shows you different variations of how to style your outfit. And then this, okay, so in the end of People Magazine, you know how they have the different looks and the editors put little comments about the different looks? If you read People Magazine, then you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. But So we use that as inspiration for the back for our Mix and Match Secrets. So we put Elowen and Nima in different fun looks using her Mix and Matching from her subscription outfit. And then Christopher came up with the wittiest caption. So we'll just look... We'll just do one right here. Uh, this is Elowen and she has her romper over top, different mix and match pieces. And she is in a cornfield with a corn fascinator and a poodle and a basket. And it says, 
Early to bed, early to rise. Farming is fun, they said. Lies. So it is great. I love this. You're going to love this every month. We put a lot of time into making this and I think you're just going to love it. And then at the end, you are going to receive your chic and wild style fashion news, which we are previewing the Houndstooth collection that is actually coming out right now. And you get to read about that. So your style squad includes myself, Diana Vining, and Christopher. And this is going to come inside your subscription box. I absolutely love it. We have also added an additional talent to our team. His name is D. Assis, and he is known as Dolly Land in Brazil on Instagram. I reached out to him and because he had the most incredible Barbie posters ever. And I said, hey, do you ever do work? And so for other companies, and so we started talking and he made some incredible artwork leading up to and that you will be seeing throughout our subscription. I am so excited to have so much creative energy and so many talented people joining our team and a part of this that it just blows my mind. We are growing, we are having so much fun, and I just love that we can have so many different people involved right now. He is in Brazil and he is sending this stuff and it is so good. So look at, look at this. Look at this advertisement that he did. Virtual Doll Convention presents Ella and Wild Paper Dolls. You are going to receive this paper doll. You can download this in the Ella and Boutique if you want a larger version, but you are going to receive a 5x4 version in your subscription box. Oh. My gosh, how beautiful is this? I absolutely love it. It is so fun. It is so good. Now every month we are going to have different things that are going to be offered with the subscription and they are going to be in the Elowin Boutique and you can download them and have a lot of fun with them. But if you are on the box, then you can also, you will also get a printed version. So in every box, we are going to have little fun things. One of them is going to be every box, you're going to get a great keychain. So this month we have the Wild Fashion Box by VDC. Now these all have like a, a film over top of them to keep them from getting scratches. So pull that off. This one still has it on it. So if you get it and it looks like it's not just beautiful, pull that off and then you will have a nice clean keychain underneath. But this is a artwork by Diana Vining. It says Wild Fashion Box by VDC and it is so cute and it has a spoiler outfit on there which we were very excited about. And then you're going to receive an ice cream cone because Elowin is going to wear her ice cream cone as a hat which Christopher will show you later and she can also just be eating it for all of your photo ops. So just fun little things like that are going to really elevate this box and make it a good time. We, our vision for this was we want it to be different from the Grace subscription. And it is. We want it to be com not completely different because it's by Virtual Doll Convention, but a different experience because we want to have one experience with that one, one experience with that one. And for this one, we're going more for the fashion side of it to show you how to, of course, we show you how to style everything, but we want this one to feel a little bit more editorial and more like Vogue for Elowin. So we hope that that translates and we are just having the very best time. So that is what is happening. That those are what is you are receiving in your box now. Because this is the launch of our subscription and we do not have enough spots right now for everybody who is on our waiting list. We are going to, every time we order clothes, we're going to be ordering more and opening up more spots as we can until they're all filled. But for the launch of this box, we have a variation of sweet scoops in the boutique right now that is available to purchase as an add-on. So if you are not in our subscription and you are still waiting, snag one of these boxes. If you are in our subscription and you want another variation, snag one of these boxes. It is Botanical Bliss and it is great. So we're going to talk a little bit more about Botanical Bliss, but it features a romper and a beautiful uh, skirt that you can attach to make all kinds of wonderful looks. This again was taken from a 1958 simplicity pattern. This exact outfit. So the Botanical Bliss I didn't get printed, but it is gorgeous. D in Brazil made it for us and you will receive that in your box for the Botanical Bliss sets. And we will also have it on a download in the Elowin Boutique so that you can enjoy that and print it. I made gorgeous boxes 
for our subscription boxes, but I made them a, a wee bit too small. We have 1,200 of them, so we're gonna roll with it for a couple months, but we're gonna have make larger ones in the future. What I'm excited about is that our boxes still fit everything, but your newsletter is going to be folded up a few times so it fits in there. And I know that you understand, and thank you for, for rolling with the punches on that. So we're going to get in, oh, and you can see, we're, we'll, we'll show you. We're gonna take you in the back at the end of this video and show you Paul, who is eagerly putting all your boxes together but they're up here and they are so cute we have three different variations of the actual box and two variations of the custom made tissue that's what we went for with this everything is custom everything is made whatever you receive in your box except for you know little things like an ice cream cone we had custom made at our factory so it is special it is curated and you're going to have the best time now one of the things that we are going to offer which you do not have to be in the subscription to buy the add-ons anyone can buy the add-ons and i know there's a lot of you waiting to get in please feel free to enjoy the add-ons they are going to to come in our fabulous boxes that we had made and we have some we have a lot of add-ons for this month because this is our debut this is our first box so our wonderful Christopher Johnson who set up this gorgeous gorgeous set he does all of our sets and he absolutely slays is going to come in and we're going to talk fashion we're going to talk boxes and we're going to talk all of the exciting ways that you can reinvent your outfit over and over and over that is one of the things that i absolutely love and appreciate about what christopher does here is he can show you how to take one piece and turn it into five outfits christopher get in here all right christopher johnson hello hi thank you for being here thank you for having me have you been having a good time with all this hard work i mean i suppose i'm having fun yeah <laughs> <laughs> no, this is this is maybe the most exciting project that we have yet to release. Like Elowen has her own box. Like, yeah, we we've heard you. Um, so thank you for joining us on this journey. Um, I'm very excited. Uh, as I've mentioned in recent videos, I think this is a season of some of the prettiest and most exciting and well done, gorgeous pieces yeah. that we've ever released. Um, so thank you for giving us a reason to keep giving these to you um, and joining us on this video today. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah. I am so excited. Right? <laughs> yeah. I know. I know we are. So you have been working for, gosh, so long and um, working really, really hard. It is not easy to curate these styles and to do all of this. Well, Where are we even going to start? Uh, that's a good question. Um, well, let's start with the gals over here. So it is a play suit that comes with a reversible skirt. And when I tell you that these garments have been a long time in the making, they have been. Um, this entire box, this entire season is really inspired by vintage fashion and by um, vintage ensembles, right? So this is a, a really nice classic play suit that you can wear for almost any occasion. But if you want a more formal or, or elegant or feminine silhouette, you can pair the skirt over the top and it's just garnished with these beautiful bows down the front um, or they could be down the back, you know? So when you say it's you reversible, like. you, you can just do it like that Truly. or turn it around. Yeah, right. I love that. And you can go sans skirt, you right? Know, you don't need one at all. Um, it's a really fun, almost like candy striper sort of vibe. Um, it's a nice sort of salmony, peachy, pinky color. It's a warmer pink, so it's not super bubblegummy. I think it's very pleasant to look at. Maybe that sounds silly, but I think the color is just nice to look at. It's a it pretty, is. pretty shade of peach. And you picked the colors. I did. And it is lined. It is lined. Yep. And so is your green option. Um, so again, you've got the play suit and, um, removable skirt, um, it's it's wonderful and it, it again it's a very nice well done garment you've got snaps down the back uh, and snaps for the waist of the skirt as well um, and it it's tailored really nicely like it just fits her very 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 well um, as do the other variations and I I don't know if I have a favorite I don't know if I have a favorite they're <laughs> both very very nice um, I I hand chose all of these colors um, and we we did some. Uh, decision making ping pong with the factory for a little while but uh plus the bows plus, plus the, the towels bows. you did yeah. all of the color theory behind yeah. all of these choices <laughs> i did i've yeah. been um i've been very excited about this project and it's so nice to see it come to fruition um i won't spoil anything in the future for you guys but like what we have coming is so fabulous um there are some just incredible and very well done beautiful beautiful pieces so um Thanks for helping Yay! us construct this. Thank you for curating, Christopher. I could not do this without you. It is just amazing. We have an incredible team. Um, big shout out to our factory, but gosh, this is so fun. Yeah. You're getting uh, the paper doll and the um, 
We've got a Ziploc bag that we will yeah, be... Yeah, these are for our add-ons. Yeah, so. these are fantastic. So for all of you doll collectors that always have loose pieces rattling around like I do, maybe it's a pair of shoes, maybe it's uh, you know jewelry that I'm always losing, these will have several different sizes, and they're reusable. They're really nice, good, sturdy plastic with a, a zipper, and uh, all of our information that you need to find more things to put in these bags yep. uh, is here. It's a great way to store your monthly pieces. Yeah, I love them. And I love that they're not... Like, I feel guilt-free about having them, because you can use them over and right. over and over and over. It is a petite box, but everything fits really nicely in it. And the boxes themselves are so pretty, you guys. Like, <laughs> they are. So let's show them. So they're, they're a little small. This is the size that I meant for the inside to be, and then I didn't arrange for outside width, but yeah. it's totally fine. It's not huge, but they are really pretty. You got virtual doll convention, and actually we got these in several different prints, so there are variations of patterns, variations of, like, some of the the actual silhouette pieces are different, uh, and some of the, you know, uh, they, they all are a little bit different. Um, but this is Unleash Your Doll's Wildest Fashion Dreams, and there's a bunch of cute little things. Uh, Every and... stitch tells a story, delivered, styled with love, delivered with joy. Yeah. The side says virtual doll convention. They're really cute, They're cute. Um, and they feel really nice. Yeah. They just, they are a really nice quality. Um, so that's what's coming in your box and you can purchase the floral variation, the Botanical Bliss um, set will be uh, two different options you can pick from. If you want an additional box. So that's, yeah. that's very exciting. And some months we are going to have bonus boxes. It just depends yeah. on the month. This is a special occasion, yep. so we are releasing uh, more for you. Welcome. Yes. Uh, and this is as they come. So if you want to see them styled on models, we have uh, Nima in the green and yellow variation. Yep, what? And there's Nima. Oops. <laughs> there's Nima. <laughs> Nima in the pink variation and Eloen in the uh, green variation. Um, and I love these. I love how whimsical they are. They still feel like a nice, like a very high quality garment, but they're not pretentious in any way. They're still really playful. Um, and they're comfortable. They're breezy. It's the end of summer. You're getting your last squeeze, la ringing the last drops out of your, your summer towel with these. Um, and speaking of towels, we've got the, the matching colors here. Now the Botanical Bliss uh, combo will also have a towel option um, of different colors. But, uh, but this is how they come, and they'll have some coordinating bows that you can play with in the hair, you can play with on the garment. Um, there are lots of ways to use these, and they've got a really nice like alligator clip on the back. I'll spoil a little secret here for you. So these bows clip with a little little clip here. And I wanted to have it stick straight out of her head, so I uh, am a monster, and I, I nailed a tack into her head, and I just put this um, bow right onto that little little tack so you can oh, clip it onto oh, the bangs. You are a monster. I'm a monster um, and I do that several times so you'll see my, <laughs> my tips and tricks sort of all my magician secrets will be revealed but if you want to clip this into the bangs you can clip it in her hair this will sit over a collar or over a you know a belt a waistband it's really versatile and I do that with a smaller bow that you will see uh, in this video as well um, but I, I just wanted to show you like there are there are unlimited possibilities with the silhouette of something like that. All right, now we're gonna take take a dive into the fashion. Right. Moving right along into the what is my favorite part, the mixing and the matching, of course. Um, we have so many ways to play with the pieces from the box and also with a collection that we're releasing in conjunction with this box. So, uh, as you may have seen in the newsletter, we are a little bit excited about uh, Houndstooth this season, and uh, we're offering Houndstooth in several colors and also in several different pieces. So, you will have the choice of uh, jackets or skirts, uh, some of which go together, or, I mean, you can mix, uh, mix and match them if you'd like, um, but one of those examples is on Eloin here, uh, and this is sort of a, a nice uh, uptown businesswoman Eloin. Um, this is featuring all new pieces minus the I think the earrings were from the last mix and match yes. um, but uh, many 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 of you have been asking uh, running around the city screaming into blow horns please get glasses for Elowen and so we have listened uh, we have some beautiful eyeglasses for Elowen that uh, we have multiple colors of right now uh, we may or may not be adding more colors as the whole box goes on so stay tuned for those um, this features a pair of black eyeglasses, and these are really nice, you guys. These are a jointed eyeglass that you can wear um, on on Eloin or Nima, and they are they're jointed at the uh, at the. I guess that's an arm. That's an eyeglass arm, right? At the arm, yeah. yeah. Even Ro I, sh I showed these to Robert at UFDC, and he said they're quote amazing. Well, and uh, I tend to be a little bit. Um, 
let's say heavy handed with my with my dressing sometimes I can be sort of uh, aggressive when I'm trying to put something on or take something off I can be sort of in a rush and if I'm not careful the uh, the arms will actually sort of come off sometimes fear not I'm mentioning this because they are not they're not jointed with a pin they actually just clip into each mm -hmm. other so if you run into the same issue those just snap right back on um, I've never had a pair of these break which is really nice they're really sturdy and really durable um, but they'll give you a little bit more flex maybe than some of Ella one's um, glasses or, or other doll glasses have been in the past and they'll just slip right on and sit nice on the bridge of her nose um, you can kind of get a little bit of mobility as far as like where they sit on the face but they're pretty snug um, this is a nice sort of sage color scheme so the jacket is a mustard and like a dark hunter green that what looks almost like a gray black color in the hound's tooth is a shade of green <clears throat> excuse me, when you sort of zoom out, you get the appearance of like sort of a sage color scheme. So I wanted to lean into that a little bit with the gemstone and the earring and this lovely little garnish of a bow on the collar here. So this is another thing that I was really, really excited about because I think the versatility of bows, as you may have seen in our uh, aerial themed Little Mermaid under the sea box for Grace, um, there was a bow that came with that that I was using a hundred ways and was like, I need we need more of every these. color. So we ordered literally thousands. Oh, thousands. We have yep. so many bows. <laughs> so I hope you're excited about bows, because I am. Um, these are actually teeny tiny little barrettes that you can clip onto or off of hair, shoes, jackets, collars, waists, belts. I mean, just anything. The size is perfect to wear almost any way you want to. And if you were really crazy, you could make them into earrings. You know, like there's <laughs> there's so many ways to play with these bows. So I, um, you can almost think of them as like a clip-on tie is sort of like how I'm playing with these for the collar. Um, they're just cute. They just add they just a little bit more dimension to an outfit. And if you're ever struggling to incorporate a whole color scheme or a, or something that feels more intentional with an outfit. I think they really tie it together without putting in any effort. They're very nicely tied, so they look like you really tried when maybe you didn't have to try very hard. Um, they're easy to use, and they're really they're really nice. They just sort of like elevate whatever you're doing. Yeah, our factory made these, and we're gonna have two different mix and match bow packs. Christopher's curating the colors yeah. that you can purchase. Yep, there's five bows in each pack. Yep, and then our gift with purchase is going to include different colors of bows too. So yeah. you're going to get bows. It, it's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful, wonderful. Yes. I, I just think that they are such a nice touch. Yeah. So we, we really leaned into green, um, down to the nylons. These stockings are, uh, something we've released for LON before. These are in new colors. Uh, with this collection, we have a really nice olive sage color as displayed here. We also have a sort of, uh, rich cranberry color, uh, similar to another shade we've released previously. We, uh, we once had like sort of a Merlot whiny color. Um, it will be a little bit more bright, a little bit more saturated with the new, new shade. Um, and then you're also getting a beautiful nutty chocolatey brown that I think is such a, a perfect nude on Nima. So I have a tendency to go like, I like to be a little over the top. <laughs> this is not news, uh, I know. Um, but I, I really enjoy the freedom of play with dolls in a, in a sense that like, maybe you don't always have the same freedom in your own expression um, out in the world. However, I have found, much to my surprise, that some of my favorite pieces from this collection are actually some of the simplest ones. Um, so I wanna show you one of those now. This is one that I really, 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 really like. Uh, this is Eloin in just a very straightforward ensemble. I didn't really do anything to like zhuzh this one up, uh, but we have a really fantastic oversized sort of like Seinfeld pirate shirt. Uh, it's uh, it's like a, you know, like a boyfriend shirt. It, it fits her, but it's deliberately a little bit long. Um, and I just love this huge collar. It's a little bit Victorian. It's a little bit contemporary. It blends a bunch of different themes together, and I think it suits her so, so well. Um, I think what lends itself to being successful is that it, it fits really nicely on the shoulder, really nicely at the bust. So it's a tailored shirt, but it feels a little bit more fashionable, maybe. Not just a business shirt. Um, a gorgeous denim pencil skirt that's got some nice detailing in the stitching and with the buttons here. Um, it does close in the back with Velcro, so these aren't functional necessarily, but it's really easy to put on. 
It's a nice tight tailored fit. So when you're wearing something like this, if you have a stand that's designed for Elowen, if it's a Tonner stand, I found that for this skirt, for some of the other pencil skirts that we have, it's easier actually to put everything else on that you are gonna dress her in and then put her on the stand and finish with a skirt. It's really easy because you close it at the back, you can just sort of wrap it around her torso and call it a day. And that way you're not fighting the stand trying to get under the skirt. Um, these are the cranberry nylons I'd mentioned before. I think they're so beautiful. Um, nylons, I find, are a really great way to play with pops of color without being garish. Like, they still feel playful, but maybe a little bit more professional. And uh, this is a new shoe that we are releasing as well. This is a gorgeous satin platform shoe with an ankle strap and some bow accessories. Um, they're gorgeous, and I think on this silhouette, uh, with the matching tights and the matching shoes, it makes her legs look like four times longer. She's just all leg. Um, sort of playing with some of the uh, coordinating colors and contrasting colors with a Birkin that we still have in stock, so if you missed that one, grab it while you can. And then uh, we finished off with a nice little sort of ochre mustard bow. Uh, it pairs really nicely with that really fine detailing in the stitching. Um, it's a nice sort of callback to the orange on the purse. And then I'm a huge fan of those hoop earrings, so we, we have some of those gold hoops, and uh, and I think she looks like she's ready to, to take on the town. Like, she just looks so chic to me and so feminine in a way that still looks strong and looks powerful and is I think she's gorgeous and then we move back into crazy town because I can't say simple for very long I it, <laughs> keeping me simple is hard um, this is a, a nice Nima ensemble whoa toothpicks dental floss every time I, I set myself up for failure you guys I'm always making it like <laughs> more precarious than it needs to be um, so I hope that's the, you know the thrill of entertaining um, this is a bunch of different pieces. Actually, none of these come together, but that's the beauty of mixing and matching. Um, Nima is wearing a really nice sort of warm color palette here. Um, she's got the ochre jumpsuit that we have released in a different color before. Um, and that's underneath a brand new leather jacket in a beautiful, like, chocolatey nutmeg sort of color. Um, this might be my favorite one yet, actually. I think this is the most stunning color, and it's so pretty on her. Um, playing with Marigold from the, uh, Botanical Bliss set, um, in the bow here, so kind of calling back to that nice, bright, sunny, orangey, yellow gold color. We've got a really nice new, um, uh, nylon for Nima. We've released so many nude uh, pieces for Elowen before, and we've never had a nude for Nima. So I've, I'm really excited to have a, a nice chocolatey brown option for her that just, it really makes the shoes pop. I think it's a little bit more of a striking contrast for her there. It's just a really nice touch. If you're ever trying to dress up Nima, now you have a great way to do that without feeling like you're trying to add in color. You're maybe just polishing the outfit. Um, finishing all of that off with a brand new bucket hat. This is a piece that coordinates with the denim skirt that you just saw on Elowen. Um, and there's some nice colors to play with in the fringe around the bucket there. A uh, nice orange, some brown, some cream, some white. Um, lots of the colors we're playing with in this collection. Now, this, uh, I've fully taken all of the rule books away for wigs. <laughs> I, I can't be told anything anymore. Um, this is, well, this is actually one of my favorite pieces, too. I, I like I said, I really like the simple ones this time. So, this is Elowen in a Grace wig. <laughs> it does not fit her. Um, but this is the, the wig that came on Natural Grace, so the, the most recent release. Um, once again, I'm a monster, and I've pinned it into her head. Uh, this, I've actually just sort of used a bow in the back to gather at the nape of the neck, giving a little flip, uh, kind of training that with a comb or with your fingers. It just creates sort of a 60s beehive silhouette. Um, there's nothing under this wig. It just doesn't fit her. <laughs> so the, <laughs> the wig sort of folds under itself. The wig cap that's designed to sit down here just sort of folds under the, the top half of it, um, creating a nice little bouffant uh, bump there. And, um, and I thought that was such a nice color with the brow that she's painted with. And I wanted something with this outfit that felt sort of like... All of the empowerment that women got in the 60s without maybe all of the frill, because there was still so much femininity added to it, right? Women could have a job, but it couldn't be specific, and it couldn't be masculine, and it couldn't be threatening. I wanted her in pants, and I wanted her to stand like she owned the place. And so this is sort of a way to play with um, 
delicacies of the 60s, right? Some of the, the pearls around the necklace, the bow, the lace, it's all very feminine, but it's worn in a way that's a little bit more staunch. It's a little bit more confident. Um, so this is a really nice heather gray pant color. We have this in several shades, um, complemented with the bow, and then cream accents throughout, uh, accents throughout with uh, a brand new shoe that I cannot get enough of. You guys, I think if there's one crowning jewel to this collection, it might be this shoe. Really? I love this. And that's hard because there's so many wonderful pieces. But I think this is one of the most, like, wonderfully made shoes that we've ever produced. I will give you a, a preface that this is, like, this is patent leather, right? So it's stiffer than some of the shoes we've released. you got two buckles that you actually have to manually sort of clasp. Um, I have found that uh, my fingers tend to run sweaty, and so if you are gross like I am, um, I found one of the ways that, that really helped me to... to um, cinch these was actually with pliers. Um, you can use tweezers, you can use anything that might give you a better grip, but I found that just, just my own fingers alone were slipping. Um, it's a stiff, double-bound patent leather in a really small little ring, so if you feel comfortable just slipping that in with your fingers, take some time. It might take a couple minutes to get both shoes on, um, but they're so worth it. Like the, the stitching, the, the sole, they are, they're phenomenal shoes and they fit very, very well. They're glamorous. They're sleek. They're, they're very pretty. And we have them in several colors. And, uh, the shoes fit Grace and Nima or Grace and Elowen and Nima. Mm, so good. yeah, that's a nice thing. You can wear, almost anyone can wear them. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Moving right along, uh, <laughs> this is uh, another one of my favorites. Um, I think one of the, the very best things about this particular doll is her lip color. Nima has several different variations, several different hair or, or wigs or makeups, but this lip is so beautiful. Um, and it's a great complementary color with the jumper we have from the Botanical Bliss set. That's one of the sort of stars of this outfit. It's a really wonderful contrast with the sort of cornflower blue leather jacket. Again, this is a new color variation. Um, sort of complementing the terry cloth towel we have uh, from the set as well. Um, it's a really nice towel, you guys. Maybe that sounds funny, but like it feels it's really so, nice. It's so nice. It's so nice. It's a good towel. Um, and I wanted to play with some really simple, classic straight lines. So we've got black, 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 um, sort of as all of your accessory pieces. And then this is the same pant that uh, I just showed you on Elowen um, in sort of a peachy pink color. It's a nice complementary shade to the stripes set of Sweet Scoops. Um, it's just versatile. Now, I will say this is a jumper, right? So it has legs, it has shorts, and I've just sort of stuffed those underneath the pants here. Um, a lot of the stuff I do is like optical illusion layering, um, and that takes me some time, so if you have, um, what I'll often do is use the bottom of a stand, I'll take the plastic piece of a tonner stand off and just use the post and sort of shove clothes under other pieces. Um, it's a great sort of tip if you're trying to replicate anything that I do here. I often can't do it with just these tools, I need other ones as well. Moving on to one of your favorite pieces. This is the first look you did when we got the hounds to then, and yeah. I about died. I just thought it was just amazing. Well, thank you. It's it's incorporating some new and some old. Um, so good. The whole the whole joy of mixing and matching is that you can still continue to use existing pieces in your wardrobe without those feeling stale without yeah. those collecting dust, right? This is still one of my favorite pieces. This is from a brunch uh, in the Big Apple box for Grace that we did months ago, um, long time ago. This is one of the variations we had for that, almost functioning as a scarf because that dress has a nice flounce on the shoulder. That's just tucked around underneath the uh, little black dress that we released for Elowen. And then the pop of color is in this sort of raspberry hound's tooth. Uh, comes with a matching belt. And then um, this is actually just a ribbon that we had in the shop. Yeah. So we have, this was one of the pieces that I was like, oh my gosh, I need bows. Like we, we had yeah. ribbons and bows sitting around that I use all the time, but I didn't realize how um, versatile they could be and how how much they really, really step up your game for making it a look. Um, so this piece I, I sort of just incorporated throughout. We've got the same sort of shade in a previously released nylon, the sort of diamond cut. Which are now um, restocked. We Oh, we have more of them. Yes. So you can throw those on with this as well. You can see how I layered those those dresses. So again, the brunch and the Big Apple is a dress. This is a dress under a dress under a blazer. It's a lot. I love it. Um, and then finished off with those uh, beautiful new shoes. This is the black variation and uh, a little grace purse. 
She's, uh, she's, this is on the other side of the end of summer, right? We've got the sweet scoops for something that's a little bit more clinging to the sunshine, and then there's Elowen that is eager on the edge of her seat to get the first pumpkin spice latte of the season. Moving on to uh, a little bit more of a whimsical, silly one. Um, this, I, I was thinking of ways to play with sweet scoops uh, from like a storyboard sort of setting. This to me feels like she has just gotten off of her shift scooping ice cream. She's uh, she's leaving the, the taffy pulling shop where she works and she's ready for, uh, you know, an afternoon on the boardwalk with her towel. Um, her her uh, work uh, uniform, of course, consists of a, an ice cream cone in her hair. Which you're a monster. I know. I just put pins in their heads all the time. <laughs> and actually, you can see that I've sort of bent this one with a hammer. I, I used my finger very uh, precariously to create sort of a curve so that I wanted it to sort of hug the... Um, the ice cream cone. So you could you could tie that down with thread, you could tape it on, you could do a hundred things. Um, but I figure uh, uh, that, uh, you know, a, a pin works just Our as mom, well. They work. They uh, work very hard. They <laughs> 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 the pins are doing all the heavy lifting, you guys. Um, we've got a white nylon. I don't... Do we have any more of these? These are restocked. These are restocked, too. Okay, so you've got lots of white accents. I know that, like, there's, like, a white and Labor Day rule. I don't care. Wear what you want to. White towel, white, white. It's just a really sweet sort of, um... It looks like a work uniform, right? Like, you can wear this in ways that allow you to really lean into the imagination of, of doll play. I love it. Yeah, very fun. And, again, you've got sort of a Kelly green bow that just sort of barrette clips onto the uh, front of the uh, blouse here. I guess that's a blouse, the play suit. The, the sleeveless jumper underneath there, that sort of like lemony, mustardy color we have in several shades. We've released these before, so that I should say, this is a leotard, it's not just a shirt. Um, we have released those with sleeves before, and this is a sleeveless edition, so that if you want to be a lunatic like I am and wear a shirt or a sweater or both under a jacket and a coat and whatever, if you want like layers, you're not fighting all of them to put those layers on. You still get the illusion of the layer without the obstruction this way. Right. Um, this is uh, something you perhaps have seen. It's in the newsletter. We've sort of restyled it a little bit, but there are so many ways to mix both of the Sweet Scoops and Botanical Bliss sets together. So you can see in the print of the skirt here, you've got some really nice pale pink and peach shades that just so happen to pair really nicely with the um, the play suit from the other variation, um, as well as belt packs we've released, and then the new shoes come in a wonderful pale peachy color as well. Um, the, these ones are really, really easy to put on. They're just an ankle strap. It's a really nice soft, um, pliable satin, and then you've got a bow detail on the toe, and uh, again at the back, on the heel. And did we talk about it? If the bows fall off, they sometimes do, just super glue it back on. Yeah. I, I haven't had any issue with this, um, but we have heard that some of these bows are secured better than others. Right. So if you are, if you're one of the unfortunate people that received it's just a looser bow, yeah. they're just tacked on with glue. So yeah. pop it on with some super glue. Um, We've got another variation uh, shown here of the Hound's Tooth. Um, this is in the same sort of olive, sort of mustard um, combo color. And then um, this is that oversized pirate shirt that is sitting on top of a mix and match skirt that we actually released uh, last season as a shop exclusive yeah. for Tonner Fest. Yeah, that's right. So uh, this is the white version. This came with a uh, peplum that you could wear as a cape. It's sort of a, a versatile, really easy to wear piece, and it creates the illusion of a one continuous dress. So if you've got the pirate shirt, um, or if you happen to come to the shop for Tonner Fest, hello all of our Tonner Fest buddies. Yes. Um, this is a fantastic way to wear that shirt, and you can cinch them at the waist with the uh, belt and make it look like it's all one thing. There are a few floating around in the back, so we'll get those listed. Remember that little pile in the back? I remember I think there's pile. like five or six of them. Well, we might have so to we'll give five it. or six people those <laughs> yes. skirts. Um, I, I, again, wanted to play a little bit with black as a uh, sort of grounding color for this. She's got such lovely, deep eye makeup that really creates some drama. Uh, and so I think a great way to accent that is using the same sort of depth throughout uh, with the bow and then with our classic Chanel purse, a little quilted rubber purse, and then the new shoes. 
with the socks that are in the boutique. Oh, yeah. Love that, Christopher. Good I love job. This, a sock and heel combination. I think it's so fun. I've never done that in my life. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are you waiting for? But now that I know it's a thing, I actually see it in fashion yeah, magazines. Yeah. Now and you're stuff. late, Rachel. <laughs> yes, I am. Um, no, I again, I know that I do some pretty crazy things with this. Um, I can only hope that it encourages you to be more adventurous and courageous with your own wardrobes at home. Um, but if you if you feel more comfortable doing it on a smaller scale, that's what we're here for. Exactly. Um, I love what you did with this. Thanks. Oh, thank you. Um, this again was in the newsletter. This is the same skirt you just saw here. Um, and again, it's got a split in the front so you can you can show that off if you want to. You can have the split turned around at the back side of this. Um, or you can go no skirt at all and just have a, a pantsuit. Um, this is one of my favorite colors in the entire world. Uh, it's red, but it's only barely legally red. It's almost orange. It's just beautiful. Um, and again, it pairs so nicely with some accent colors that uh, Nima is painted with. Um, I used the same sort of uh, marigold bow to complement the skirt colors again. And then a little vintage teddy bear that we had here in the shop That's for cute. a little little spark of something extra. Um, this is the towel uh, that will come with this set. So it's, it's a white terry cloth towel. Um, in total, we'll offer four pieces and four coordinating towels. Um, and then this is a, and, and now it's an older shoe uh, that we have for Grace that just happens to fit Elowen and Nima so nicely. But it's the same sort of like almost red, almost orange as this is, and they pair so nicely together. So if you have those shoes, consider throwing in a Botanical Bliss uh, set because it's, it's lots of that sort of warm, warm red color. Alrighty, so this one, <laughs> I, I love Such her. a fan favorite. She, oh, good. It uh, is, oh yeah. She's nuts, um, <laughs> but she's my creation, so like, of course she is. Um, again, this is, this is a little, um, this is a Grace wig um, uh, creation. There are, <laughs> these are actually two different Grace wigs uh, pinned together. Um, so from the front, she's great. Uh, from the back, we just, we just don't talk about the back. It's the, it's the forbidden mullet. Um, but, uh, I, I think of her as, like, a really, like, she's not messing around. She, she does hair in New Jersey. She is, she's working two jobs. She's, she's grooving. She's grinding. Um, and she looks fantastic. So, this is a new piece. This is a sleeveless, um, lace leotard as well. So, similar to what we've had before, but just no sleeves. Um, underneath a black corduroy dress. Now, this we actually have in several colors as well. So, uh, it will close in the back with Velcro. Um, the, the straps are intact, so you don't have to worry about messing with those or tightening those. They fit as they are. And, um, but this... But they... She doesn't sit. <laughs> <laughs> no, she, she's, um, you know, some outfits are, are standing outfits. Uh, I don't know if some of you relate, but some outfits are, are only meant for standing. And then some outfits are for sitting. And sometimes those don't cross over. Um, and this is one of those. <laughs> we found that out. <laughs> um, she, she can, she can bend a leg. She can, uh, she can bend a knee. But she's not, she's not really going anywhere in this. It's, it's. It's form-fitting enough that it's almost restrictive, um, but it's it's fabulous for displaying your dolls. So if you are um, displaying some of them in chairs, please feel free to do so. We have so many of these outfits that are amazing for sitting, for mobility, for flexibility. This just maybe is not that, one of them. I um, love it. But I love this look. Right. The, the earrings, to me, make the whole thing. Um, I love the cameo necklace. These, I think, we are sold out of. We may have, uh, like, two or three pairs of these left. We do still have a ton of these in silver, um, and then we have, um, these shoes are gone too, but if you are looking for an alternative, remember we have the new patent leather strappy shoes yeah. in black. And we do have some limited amounts of the black cameo. Yeah. So. And I think we still have some Get of these wigs. Some. If you need no, to. No, that, didn't that come on the Glamour Grace? That came on the Glamour Grace. Uh, you're, th so, really close. This is a, this is the bob. This is the brunch and the big apple red hair. This is the, this is her black wig. This is not the one that came on Glamour Grace. Oh. Oh, this is the Charleston Chic in black. Yeah. Oh, we so, do have those. Yeah. If yeah. You, if you need to, like, be a lunatic and, like, let oh, something out. Oh, I didn't even recognize it. Yeah. This is, it's two of them. So you've got the... I love that. Okay. That's, that's two different That Grace is in the ways. Grace Boutique. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> if you, in the meantime, while I'm still arranging getting more, like, tiny cropped little Yeah, wigs, we're, we're going to get some Some um, bobs, some uh, little pixies. You can sort of create one in the meantime yeah. if you're feeling adventurous. Yeah, we're, we're, we're on, we need to get some wigs, some short styles. They're coming. Um, this is a really sort of uh, 
classic look for me in Eloin. Um, it's lots of layers, it's lots of um, contrasting colors and complementary colors, and um, there's a lot happening. So we've got the, the oversized pirate shirt as your base layer. Um, underneath, another variation of that dress we were just showing you on on hairdressing Eloin. Um, this is another new color of the famous leather jacket. This is sort of like a really nice true olive green um, paired with uh, a nice bow to accentuate those colors. And then for contrast, we have another color variation of the glasses we'll be showing you. So these are a pink one, same ones, jointed at the arm, they're fantastic. And a nice sort of coordinating color is your uh, peach satin uh, platform shoe. Um, with the bow accents, I mean, they're phenomenal shoes. And I think the the fit is great, the silhouette is great, and they contrast the green so nicely, especially with that Romance Cola. Um, she's gorgeous. This is one that Christopher laughed on the other side of the room. <laughs> and I was like, what's going on? And he showed me this look, and yeah. I was like, it's amazing. So I don't... I don't know. I always say that I have a favorite, and I usually say that a couple times, but she's it, you guys. Um, I, I love how simple this is. It's very, the silhouette I think is very striking and it plays with a couple different sort of inspirations. So I think naturally this, uh, what is a bralette but functions as almost a turban paired with this wig is very 20s. It's very flapper. It's very, very vintage antique-y. Um, and I think it's so striking on her with that dark lip. It's just beautiful. But then you move into this like oversized, gorgeous, hound tooth emerald color jacket, which is sort of like boss lady of the 80s, right? It's female empowerment. It's I have a job and have kids and take home the bacon and I'm knitting you a sweater and all of it, right? And then you've got like... Rodeo Drive, electric emerald green, like, this is Emerald City uh, in the middle of West Hollywood. Uh, so uh, <laughs> you've got um, a little bow accents. So again, same bows we've been playing with, just clipped onto both of the boots at the top. Now these, actually, we've had for a minute, we still have some. If you, uh, I think we're out of the black, and I think we're out of the Brown, copper. But we have... Uh, we have red and red. we have green. Mm -hmm. So if you want to reserve those in time for Christmas, get them now. Um, but I think I think the way that this pairs together is is my favorite it's outfit. It's gorgeous. Thank you very I much. I love it yeah. very much. The, um, the, again, the nylons are back in stock. Yeah. Um, this jacket is just oversized enough to be worn without anything under it. Um, it is a more scandalous uh, sort of silhouette, but I, I think that it's... It flatters her shape so nicely, um, and if you want to play with a more uh, high fashion haute couture playability with your doll clothes, I'm hoping to scratch that itch for you as well. This is sort of a, a straightforward, lots of existing pieces but incorporating new ones into it. So again, very much in the um, in the spirit of mixing and matching, we've got some some ways to play with stuff that you maybe already have. Um, my favorite garment from the most recent release that Robert did um, is our Bright Ideas blouse. Um, it's just a really lovely statement piece as sort of a, you know, it's the major focal point of the ensemble, but it is a dress, so it's sort of tucked into these trousers. Um, this is sort of a nice, like a camel color, like a tan beige color. Um, and then I, I figure like such a nice complementary color is that sort of peachy pink. So we've used it in the glasses here, as well as in the oversized bow. And it's a nice sort of complement with all the colors in her Birkin. Um, using the scarf to sort of incorporate neutrals into this, and then finishing it off with the new strappy patent leather shoe in sort of a nude color. So this is uh, nude, you've got cream, and you've got black. I love them. Yeah, really, really a fun way to be eccentric, but in sort of a Carrie Bradshaw way. You totally. know what I mean? Totally. Yeah. I love it. Um, hiding back here, she really is crammed in here, so I won't do a whole lot of picking her up, but we've got Eloin back here um, that's sort of playing with some familiar pieces from the Backyard Fun collection. So with that box, you uh, you had add-on options for boots and hats and, and what have you, and these are some of those pieces. So as a sort of Segway out of summer into fall. Eloin is excited for a chilly, crisp weather with her play suit uh, from Botanical Bliss. Um, 
underneath uh, the blue, uh, like a shirt dress jacket uh, that we actually have re-released. People love that so much, so thank you for um, asking. We've, we've listened and we delivered, so we've got more of those. And then the base layer under all of that is the new sleeveless leotard uh, that's in black. We've sort of used an existing jewelry piece there, uh, that double strand pearl. And then the scarf sort of plays into the same color as the tights. Um, and then you've got the boots for texture. I love polka dots. I love the whimsy of them. She's excited for fall, but she's still sort of goofy, you know? A little bit of both. These hats. Isn't this amazing? <gasps> okay, so we've given you, we're giving you some spoilers, you <laughs> yeah. guys. Not everything is necessarily a part of this collection specifically. Uh, per usual, we're giving you some extra fun things, yeah. Easter eggs to look for. Um, and this hat is one of them. Um, these are... I'm not going to say anything. I'm not spoiling anything. These are fantastic hats, and that's oh. all I'm going to tell you. They're coming. Stay <laughs> yeah. tuned. These are so wonderful, and they fit like a glove. Oh, I love them. Ugh. Um, this is the cream lace leotard without sleeves. Um, so again, if you're trying to fit this into, you know, tucked under pants, you don't have to worry about struggling to get that under a, you know, a waistline or keeping it there. It's a leotard. It stays right in place. Um, this is a cream color of the same trouser you've seen a couple times now. Um, paired with just her classic basic white shoes and, um, and a white ribbon. So you've got off-white, you've got cream, you've got sort of a natural wicker color in the hat. It's all very nice and light and fresh. Um, but um, but I, I, I think this like this hat is so phenomenal I know. to you guys. Um, Remember when you came to work, I had, I, had, <laughs> I had news and then I was like, but we have hats. I, I came in and you were doing your hair. You were yeah. in the bathroom and you turned around. You saw that I'd come in and it was, there was a doll hiding in the bathroom with you. Yeah. And you were like, wait. And you turned around and I was just, I just like yelped. It was yeah. so fantastic. This hat is... It's it, so good. And we have six really, variations yeah. coming. So You guys are, yeah. stay tuned stay for tuned. something very exciting with those. Yes. Um... We've got a very cute little, like, 60s mod silhouette with this uh, very lovely sort of lime, um, minty colored dress uh, with some... It, it does feel sort of like a chocolate mint, or like an Andes mint, you know, you have... Um, oh, yes, got, it does. Yeah, right? Um, playing with uh, the new uh, chocolate brown tights as a way to accent the, uh, the stem of the flower and the pattern of the dress. And then the waist has sort of a built-in belt that is stitched at the back and then allows you to tie in the front. Uh, really nice, sweet, oversized collar, playing with white again with the bow and the hair. And then you've got um, a scarf, of course, because I love to just add in extra texture, extra uh, texture and color. Um, and I love stripes, I love polka dots and patterns. So naturally, Elowen has to, too. Gorgeous. Um, moving down this way, we've got a... I need to just keep you out of the way, my dear. Sorry, we're evicting you. Um, we've got Elowen here in the uh, last variation of this dress. Um, this is sort of like um, like a custardy color. It's like a it's not quite gold, but it's a really nice neutral. Again, you really see the corduroy in this one because of the color, um, and I think a great contrast to that is purple. So we have a really saturated royal purple in the sleeveless uh, leotard as your base layer. And then that is sort of accentuated with a clip-on uh, bow on the collar. The sweater is uh, one that we've had for a little while, so if you want to sort of play with layers and texture, that's a great way to do that. Reach back into your wardrobe as she is here, looking for her previous, you know, previously worn pieces, and then paired off with our uh, newest shoe in a new color that is the um, sort of a lilac, like a pale lavender. So pretty. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Um, now, I will bring you back into frame. Nima, I'm sorry for obstructing you. Um, this is, um, this is pretty straightforward as well. This is another example of the bucket hat, the denim bucket hat with the nice sort of, um, brown and chocolate and cream accent color on the brim. Um, the skirt that coordinates with it. And then you've got the, um, the brassy copper color boots that we, we sadly are out of, but if you own them, you can play with that really, really effortlessly. Um, I think cream is a sort of a no-brainer accent color. And then to pop in just a little bit of color, we've got that cornflower blue that she's ready to sling over her shoulder. So everyone's favorite, Romantic Possibilities, has um, another sort of look you've seen from the newsletter, from some of the promotional material that we've shown you. This is the combination of Sweet Scoops and Botanical Bliss paired together. Um, again, the sort of like 
sagey kelly green in that is a really nice color. Even though it isn't in the skirt overtly, it just pairs well. Um, and you've got a nice sort of off-white creamy color in a mix and match cardigan from a previous release. Um, we are debuting another spoiler here with the glasses, so this is a color that we are not releasing with this collection, but it will be coming. So stay tuned. We have we have several colors of glasses. We have, I, I think, I ten colors. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's a few. Um, this is just a, a silk ribbon that we had in the shop. We do have some of the clip-on bows in blue, so if you want to play with shades of blue or, or any other color functionally, you can sort of mimic the effect that I had here. Um, this is the blue terry cloth towel that will come with the uh, this variation of the Botanical Bliss set. And then we uh, finished it off with the new nude strappy shoes, which I just love. Um, Elowen needed a nude shoe. We have yeah. so many for Grace, but we, we didn't really have a, a pair that was overtly for her. And I think they, they fit like a glove. If you're willing to kind of wiggle them on, they are they're such a beautiful piece. And I think they, they pair so well with this cardigan. They sort of make the outfit for me. They do. Christopher, I can't say enough. You just, yeah. you, you did such an amazing job. Thank you for your leadership and showing us what to do. We really appreciate it so much. Thank We're you. having a blast and we know you are too. Oh, I mean, it's so hard to not have fun when, when this is my job. It is work, but it's really fun work. Um, and it's only fun, like I've said before, like the, the best part of this job is the reception to it. And, and you guys have been so excited about all of this. Um, so thank you, thank you, thank you, and I hope that this provides you new ways still to play with things that maybe you um, are excited to acquire, or maybe things that you already have. Um, and I hope that it encourages you to play with something in a way that you um, had not thought of before. So, I love it. Thank you so much, Christopher. Thank you. Hi, Paul. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> all right. You've been having fun working here? I have. Good. All right. Well, thank you so much. Let's go look at your workshop over here. Let's okay. go. Let's go together with Paul. So this is his pile already. We have yet to put the paper doll and the newsletter in there, but we will do that. And this is pretty much how it looks. This is pretty good. So Paul, let's, let's see a little bit into your process right here. Just take, you know, one of everything, a piece of paper. Wrap it up. Try and make it as neat as possible. And fold onto the top twice. Fold on fold. And then fold, grab a little box. Put it nice and snugly in there. Okay. Like that. Yeah, that's good. And get some over here because you know we like our sweets. Get a couple of those. Get one of these little the keychains, key okay. a wild keychain, stick it in there, and there you go. There you There's go. The box. Good job, Paul.